everybody and welcome. This week a very important milestone in television history had its 25th anniversary. On February 22nd 1993 the pilot movie for Babylon 5 was aired for the first time. Me as a long time science fiction fan was interested from the start and I got hooked to the series created by writer J. Michael Straczynski, also called JMS. It was the first time that a TV series attempted to follow a five year long story arc, something that is very common nowadays but was unheard of back in 1993. Babylon 5 also relied heavily on CGI graphics, something that was scoffed at back then. What do you think of that when you look at things like Game of Thrones nowadays? Star Trek's Deep Space Nine at around the same time still used models if I remember correctly, at least in the first few seasons. One of the most iconic designs of the series was the Star Fury fighter that you can see here recreated in Kerbal's space program. Not only did it look cool, it also introduced semi-realistic space battles to a larger audience, since it didn't act like an airplane, as for instance the fighters in Star Wars still do to this day, but used conservation of momentum during a fight, be it using a thruster impulse to travel along a certain vector and then quickly turning around, or doing strafing runs on capital ships, it showed viewers how space battles could look like. Throughout its run, Babylon 5 was threatened with cancellation on a regular basis, but still it managed to deliver all five seasons it originally intended to air. Since there was nothing like Netflix back then, we had to import VHS tapes with grainy copies from US TV channels, because it would take ages for the next season to return to TV over here, and of course we couldn't wait. For me personally, the high points of Babylon 5 are Season 3 and Season 4, with the culmination of the Shadow War and the Earth Civil War arc. The show was also full of great characters. One of my favorite characters in all of science fiction will always be Jakar, who was a bit of laughingstock in Season 1, but matured to a sage-like alien elder statesman in later seasons. His encounters with eternal nemesis and also best friend, Centauri ambassador Londo Mulari, and the hilarity that sometimes ensued through that were legendary. 25 years. I think I have to dust off my Babylon 5 box set, because yes, I have all five seasons on DVD. And if you are a fan of epic science fiction, you should as well. Thanks to JMS and all other writers, directors, actors and everybody else involved for bringing Babylon 5 to us. May you all be forever sleeping in light. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.